me being separated um this has been recent so it just happened actually on thursday <laughs> Welcome to Keeping It Unique. My name is Malika. If this is you guys' first time joining me on this channel, I want to welcome you. And if you guys have been here before, I want to welcome you guys back. So this week, I will be talking about separation, me being separated. Um, this has been recent, so it just happened actually on Thursday. But I saw this coming. I knew this was coming. I'm actually excited. I'm ecstatic about this. Um, I know for people, many when they talk about separation, it's something very sad and drastic for them. But for myself, I'm just gonna embrace the journey. I've been prepared for this. I've been equipped along the way, and I knew it was gonna get here. So now that it's here, I'm just gonna embrace the journey. As I said, I'm gonna embrace the process. I'm gonna keep building on myself as an individual, and just live life because what can you do so let's get into the video i am actually so excited i am happy i could have never been more prepared and i just want to thank everyone who have been on this journey with me i've been talking to them about this journey and the day has finally come i'm finally separated so I am just gonna talk to you guys a little bit about that and how oh, I've reached to this point. So I knew I was gonna be separated about seven weeks ago. Yes, about seven weeks ago I started this journey and I was preparing myself for this moment because I knew it was gonna happen. So I will finally be on my own starting now I will be on my own and as I said before I've never been more excited I've never been more ecstatic I've never been more um, grateful I've learned so many new things along the way about myself and just about you know individuals and I'm taking this all with me um, you know to start my new journey I am so excited as I said before like I've been preparing for this so yes so separation what am I talking about so as you guys know or some of you guys may know I am a new nurse so yes I'm a new psychiatric medical nurse and I'm in a graduate program which is two years long for me my training was seven weeks yes seven weeks but my seventh week actually ended on thursday morning because i do night shifts so wednesday night i went in thursday morning was my last shift being under a preceptor so i know a lot of graduate nurses they get so nervous starting on their own for me i'm not going to lie those nerves have not started to settle in as yet i don't know if i'm ever gonna get that nervous and i think because i know that i am well rounded i had some great preceptors who helped me a lot along the way i've taken like so much from it i'm just so ready to be on my own to basically show the world what I've learned so far all the skills that I've learned I'm ready to um you know formulate my own schedule and my own format in caring for my patients I could have never been more excited I could have never been more prepared I think I was born ready for this I'm not even gonna lie my first day with my preceptor I was nervous preceptor great so I will come back and I'll give you another story time about my preceptors. I went through a total of four, four preceptors and then I floated to two different units. So I'd say six preceptors in total. They were all great in their own way. And then I'll come back and I'll do a video to tell you guys what aspects I took from each preceptor to come kind of put together to make my own process as a new nurse. 
so the unit that i'm on i'm very excited to be working on that unit everyone is so helpful there and i think that's what makes it like so much more exciting that i'm gonna be on my own because i know if anything and i have a question i can always reach out to someone for me i'm a person i'm not afraid to ask questions even the dumbest questions you may say I'll go to my nurse manager every time and I'll be like, or my um, assistant nurse manager, my charge nurse, and I'll be like, so I have this medication and I have to reconstitute it, but in the uh, medication order, it doesn't say like, you know, how much I need to reconstitute this medication, you know, so um, what do I need to reconstitute? For me, I'm caring for patients and safety is my number one priority so i make sure to ask those questions when i'm not sure because i rather know that i'm giving the best care to my patient protecting myself and my patients instead of acting all cocky and going there doing something harming my patient losing my life and then it's like game done so if you guys have any questions if you guys have anyone who is in nursing school who wants to be a nurse who is in the graduate program and you guys need a little encouragement or just to know like processes of how i did it to get through um you guys can always reach out with those comments in my comment section below and i'll be sure to address those issues that you guys have if you guys have any topics that you guys want me to talk about i'll be more than happy to look at those topics and you know consider and then i will do a video about it also i know a lot of individuals their nurse resident program wasn't the best like a lot of them were actually like fearful of going to work because of how their preceptor were or just how their units were not anybody that i know personally for me i was always excited to go to work because i worked with a great group of people i love the mental health aspect i get to do about mixture of mental health and medical care so for me it could have never been better i chose to do that field and i go to work every day all my patients are different and even if i'm working with the same patient on the same day they may present with something different so it keeps me on my toe it makes my work interesting you know there's always changes going on and i like that for me i'm a person i don't like changes on a whole so if you're gonna just say okay i'm switching it to another unit then it's gonna take me a while to adjust but being on that unit i like changes in my patients i don't like to see the same thing um over and over the same thing um presented are the same patients and that's what i love about my unit different patients different things i have medical patients psychiatric patients some are a mixture of both some just psychiatric some just medical but yes most of the time i do have a mixture of psychiatric and medical patients i deal with a lot of patients who are baker acted and a lot of patients who are on the marchman act as well if i will be doing a video discussing the baker act and the marchman act the processes that we do and yeah just how to take care of those patients so yes i'm separated from my preceptor i'm so excited and I'm not excited because I had bad preceptors. I'm excited because I know they've prepared me well. I've learned so much. I'm on a great unit and I'm just ready to go rock, be by myself. So yes, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching to this week's video. Please remember to like this video, comment under it, share this video if you've truly enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much again for watching, keeping it unique. Also, go over to Instagram and Facebook and follow my page at Unique Mali and my model page at Unique Beauty. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you guys around next week. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.